Jerry and Esther, uh, some time ago, were flying into the city of uh, Boston. And while we are not eager to talk about past lives, because they are so distracting, this is where your point of power is. We said to Esther, in a little bit of a, a tease of curiosity, you will really like Boston. It was your last place of physical. And Esther said to Jerry and to Tracy, I will really like Boston. It was my last place of physical. <laughs> and we said to Esther, all three. And Esther said, you too, you too. And so as they landed, and they are in the back of their transportation, they are all saying, well, who was I? Well, who was I? And so we said to them, because words do not teach, when you stand before the statue that is you, you will know. Oh, they're very excited. We are famous, they say. There is a statue for each of us. So even though it is one o'clock in the morning, they are walking all over Boston standing in front of statues. And when they stood before the statue of Samuel Adams, all three of them said in one voice, in the same moment, I was Samuel Adams. And then they all looked at each other and said, not you, me. Not you, me. Still thinking they were clumps, you see, assigned to clumps. And then Jerry said, all right, Abraham, what is the story here? Tell them that they are wrong, he said. <laughs> well, when you know something, you know something, you see. And we explained to them that the energy that is now within the three of them was at that time in the body of Samuel Adams. <coughs> New way of seeing it, isn't it? Sort of makes you understand how so many are having so much awareness of similar past lives or so much connection to similar places. And it also helps you in your willingness to not try so hard to prove your worthiness, but to participate joyfully through the perspective that you now hold. You're not here to prove worthiness as one soul is climbing the rungs of a ladder. You are here as joyful beings wanting as much expression in the physical experience as you can glean. So in that way, do you understand that yes. the same non-physical energy that flows through you is in your bird, in your cat, in your green bean? <laughs> Are you beginning to acknowledge that the non-physical energy is flowing forth into this delicious physical experience with many different perspectives? And for what? For the joy of physical experience. For life is supposed to be fun, you see. Good. You are getting the hang of this. Yes. This is what I was sensing, but I, I needed confirmation. Oh, it is a little threatening to some physical beings who have been trying so hard to contain their behavior so that they could get the perfect mark on the chart, only to find out you're all getting the same mark. <laughs> and it's all a perfect day, you see. Good. You are complete? Thank you. Let yes. us come here. <laughs> 